Hi, join me on Tuesdays, and I'm doing free Let's Go Tutoring. That's right. Give me 10 minutes of your time for free, and I'll show you free sources of money and help to get your project, your idea, or your financial problems solved. Actually, I'm doing it on, on, on a website called officehours.io. You know, and if you search Matthew Lesko there, you know, and sign up, you know, for my Tuesday sessions, and really see if <laughs> try to make it because these are free and, and you're taking time from somebody else who would, you know, sign up, but you took their spot. So you know, we have people that don't show sometimes, and and that, and that hurts a bit. So make sure you can show before you sign up for one of these things. And it's every Tuesday, and I've got a bunch of slots there. Yeah, you know, that will do because this is the way I learn too. Uh, I don't even know what I know, and so it's fun to try to help people. I mean, like recently I had somebody was looking for five thousand dollars so they could do a trailer for their new movie they wanted to make. Yeah, you know, or another guy who who wanted to write a business plan for how to start a, a, a internet marketing company and how to get that done for free. Or how about money to live on while he started a, a real estate business? Or somebody who I helped who was trying to find out how to get customers for his consulting business and not spend any money on it. So, <laughs> so we have fun. It's only 10 minutes of your time, my time, and I'll give you the best sources in the world. I just want to make sure that people know there's help out there for free if you know where to look. Uh, I want to say thank you very much, Matthew, uh, for opening office hours. Um, you know, uh, I, like, I, I, I don't know if you remember, but I, when I, uh, we first met, I actually mentioned that uh, my years ago, my dad actually bought your book. Oh. Uh, and uh, that's how I actually heard about you a couple, uh, all those years ago. Well, I'm still alive. Is your dad still alive? Yep, yes, he is. Great. Well, we're both around. <laughs> Where do you live, Dave? I'm in Philadelphia. Oh, okay, now I'm from Wilkesboro originally, so right up yeah, the road there. Yeah, actually, I, I looked you up when I saw that, and I was like, oh, it's not too far away. Right, exactly. Yeah. So you're a filmmaker, or what are you up to? Yeah, I'm a filmmaker. What kind? Is it uh, a theatrical film, or industrial, or porn, or what? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I've, uh, I've actually done uh, theatrical stuff. Um, I, you know, it, it's funny because I've actually been a finalist for film grants because I've applied directly to like you know certain film uh, uh -huh. groups. And in my experience, uh, if you're not a documentary filmmaker, right, you're you're pretty much on the outside because yeah. all of those grants that I've seen over the years, and I mean the big grants, even the small grants. Uh -huh. if, if you're not a documentary filmmaker or if you're or a special project or something like that, then they really don't want to talk to you most of the yeah. time. Uh, and I, I have tackled this a myriad of ways, uh, and really there's no... There's there's no real way that if you have like let's just say you and I wanted to make a, a short little horror film, mm -hmm. there's really no grants for that. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk with you, and just see is you know if there's anything that you might suggest that I could yeah. do. And I'm not looking for big bucks here. I'm not looking for a million dollars. Even if I could get a grant for like you know a thousand, two thousand, something like that, uh -huh. just to create a small trailer. I, I just see. wanted you know something you know small money like that just to see if there's anything I could do. Uh, and what what is the is it a horror film or what? Well, I don't have anything in particular in mind right now. Uh -huh. um, I just you know I, I just wanted to pick your brain to see right. if there is any any sort of uh, great well, thing. What um, here's what comes to my mind. One is your state has an arts council. I don't know if you ever dealt with them at all, uh, but you know if you had a film, you know what would appeal to them more to would be. And also the humanities, if it was something, a film around something in Philadelphia or, you know, something local, they, you know, that may, they may have more an interest instead of just doing, you know, a, an advertisement for, you know, Pepsi Cola or something like that. Uh, and and not, there also is, every state now has a, a film division, you know, where they have money for people who want to shoot films in the state you know what i mean mm -hmm. uh and that would be the uh, from the office of economic development in harrisburg 
They will have a special division for films that have money to help produce films, no matter how big or small, theoretically. What they really want to do is hire people. But, you know, this would be hiring people too, because, you know, if something, they give you five grand to do something, you're really hiring people to do it. Uh, the other thing, I don't know if you're aware of on the internet, there's something called Patreon. Do you know them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, that is a, you know, for artists of all kinds, films or whatever, and, and it's monthly money for artists. And they're now giving, I talked to the guy who started a couple of years ago, and I thought, oh, you know, it sounded so great that I thought it'd be gone in six months. But two years later, they're giving out a million dollars a month to artists. That's every month, you yeah, uh, know, on that platform. Uh, there are certain crowdfunding platforms, maybe because you're in the business, you run into them already, just, just for filmmakers. I've interviewed some of them now too, that, you know, to help you through all the process of filmmaking, raising money and, you know, small amounts like you're, you're talking about and whatever. I forget the names off the top of my head, but I could, uh, they're probably crowdfunding videos or filmmaking, you know, would bring them up. And of course, Indiegogo does a lot of, of that. Have you tried crowdfunding at all for this or for anything yeah. in film? We, I actually have. Um, I actually do crowdfunding consulting all the time. Uh, oh, really? Side as well, uh, because I, I've helped um, I, way back when. I was actually one of the first people to use Indiegogo. Oh wow! A friend of mine was a son. Yeah, a friend of mine was a Sundance programmer, uh -huh. and she told she told me about it, and uh, I thought, you know, this doesn't sound on the up and up, and uh, I mean, this was like 2008, 2009, wow. and I started I, I started one, and people were like dumbfounded is what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> so what I did was, it, did, it didn't do so well, yeah. but then I did another one, and then I did, I, you know, I would make short films, and, and yeah. people would donate, and so, you know, well, uh, in 2010, I was able to raise about 10,000 bucks for this TV pilot. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, I ended up getting to pitch to NBC, I got to pitch to G4 Video Game Channel. Well, they didn't, they didn't uh, G4 went bankrupt, and they went, came GQ, and NBC <laughs> passed on it. Uh, and the project burned me out so bad that I, I haven't crowdfunded anything since. Yeah. But uh, the the a lot of people kept asking me, how, how did you do this? How did you do that? Yeah. And finally, I kept saying, you know what? You know, I'm helping all these. I'm answering this question like ten times a day. Right. Might so I might paid. as well just you know, start <laughs> setting up a chart for it. And um, it's funny because a lot of my friends who you know they, they think that, that I, I bet I'm not going to charge them anything. Right. They'll come up. They'll, they'll ask on Facebook like, "Hey, uh, what my my projects and you know has 15 days left? Uh -huh. We need ten thousand dollars. What should we do?" <laughs> and I always say like, "Well, you know, okay, um, but um, you know, I you know I, crowdfunding is a great option. I have a Patreon up right now for my podcast. Oh, really? Um, cool. I need to do I need to do a lot more work on that. Yeah. And, All that stuff. Um, I'm hoping because I, I have over a hundred episodes of this podcast. And wow. I have the Patreon is more popular, but uh, mm -hmm. I think I, I've hit some roadblocks that I have to uh, assess. Mm -hmm. And because um, I need to make a better pitch video is what, what yeah. I think the main problem is. But um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try. Well, what I wanted to try was by the end of the year, I was hoping to make just something again. I mean, it's been five years since I, I actually, you know, made a film. Of wow. My own. I usually am helping out with yeah. people. Uh -huh. And I, I, th that's why I wanted to talk to you today, Matthew, just to see if there was anything that I wasn't thinking about yeah. well, uh, in terms of, you know, of, of just finding any grants, uh, you know, anybody, you know, anything. Because um, I, I was thinking about crowdfunding, you know, $1,000 yeah. just to make this trailer and just, mm -hmm. you know, and, and use that to start building a, a fan base on YouTube. So if you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, to, to even more than an audience. Right. Uh, I mean, the only other thing would be is, God, it just, you know, Fat Cats in Philly. I mean, it, to me, I see like young filmmakers, they run to somebody who, you know, wants to be in the film business and they're making so much, you know, like, like lawyers would rather own a restaurant, you know. I mean, you're in that. Now it's finding those people and, and you know, that may be, there are venture capitalists. See, if you go to the Office of Economic Development, you could get, uh, you know, a listing of venture capitalists and angel investors. These are fat cats with money. So if they're there, you know, they're, they're, and they're, they're 
you could find them on it. If you go to angelvestor.com or I forget what the hell they angel list kind of thing. You know, you put in a you know, Pennsylvania and you'll see all the fat cats, you know, looking for, you know, IT companies to invest in. Well, you're sexier than an IT company in a way, and you only need a thousand bucks. Yeah. Because they may meet pretty girls if they hang around you, yeah. And I'm thinking yeah. <laughs> that you know these people in a barrel because their fat cats want to invest in IT companies, but at least you could find them and send proposals for your video, you know, because you don't need a whole lot. You know, somebody's looking to invest twenty, thirty, fifty, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars in shit, you know, that that they don't know what's going to come out of it. Why don't they have fun and give you a thousand bucks instead, <laughs> or in addition? <laughs> You know, in addition, the problem is finding those people and see in the IT world, it's open, it's open source, you know, finding, you know, getting to know the local doctor who has a bunch of cash looking for to do it. You got to join some country club or some shit like that, you know, and uh, but but these uh, IT fat cats are easy to find because they all love the Internet so much. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very true. You know, I, I kept getting a, uh, invites to that angel list. And I, I, I thought it was a scam or something. I, I have all these people asking me about uh, joining it, so I'm going to join that right yeah, now. Yeah, right. Go, um, join it and see. Go to one of their meetings and see. You see, if they're all in a barrel there, you know, you, you become, you know, like an IT company, but you don't have to do the business plan or the Shark Tank shit or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I have so many contacts too. I mean, it's just. You know what I mean? I think, it, you know what it is with my problem is, Matthew? I have a very interesting problem. It's not the fact that I don't have contacts. Uh -huh. It's the fact that, you know, because I have a ton. I mean, literally, I, I'm friends with M. Night Shyamalan's uh, producing partner. Wow. Uh, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it's the same. Um, oh, I, I'm actually, see, we're almost out of time. Yeah. Um, we got nine seconds left. But I want to say thank you very much, Matthew. And, uh, you know, I, if you're ever on social media, you know, friends on Facebook and stuff, uh, you know, let's chat soon. Great. Here's my email. Your session has ended. Please take a moment to rate this session. And they directed me to where I would need to incorporate my LLC here in New Jersey. Uh, uh, who directed you again? Who? The, the advisor from the SCORE office. Oh, the SCORE office, okay. Mm -hmm. And so what they've asked me to do with relation to the water filtration and the ice cube tests that we spoke about I guess, uh -huh. months ago is for me to find some trade associations or somewhere that I can find legitimate financial statistics and conversion rates for lead generation in water filtration or some similar, similar enough statistics, financial statistics and conversion statistics for lead generation. And so, you know, you you uh, encouraged me in the first place, so I thought I'd continue, yeah. um, uh, I'd continue the, the process with you here and see if you had any ideas. Right. I, I, okay, now if I remember correctly, you're, you have something that you could send out to test people's water, right? There, yeah, there are several types of water tests out there, and I can get at least at least one of them for free that I can then mail. Right. Out. Okay. And and, and, and so doing. And if, your yeah, website. Right. Yeah, right. And your website will just, you know, have a place for names for people interested in this, so you can then sell the names to people who sell various kinds of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because if they put their email address in and ask for yeah. a filter, okay. And then I say, well, give me your address and I'll okay. mail it to you. And then they do. Then that's a qualified lead. Okay. Now, do you need money to start this? Well, I, I, I'm going to write a business plan, and there, they, there's a organization here in New Jersey that will give me funding once I do. Huh. So for, I the, for the funding, um, you know, it's a public, you know, uh, SBA and public funding for New Jersey. I see. So uh, this is, is this a loan or is it grant or what? Do you know? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. I mean, and I think they have multiple options, um, uh -huh. but they want me to write the business plan first. And they, and they said the core thing here is that, you know, I obviously have the marketing part of it, you know, understood. It's, yeah. I really need um, solid financials 
uh, solid financial information. And, and yeah. so really, as much as I'm providing a water filtration service in a way, really what I'm doing is lead generation. So I know, exactly. They recommended either way, if I could get my hands on an actual business plan from a lead generator or an actual business plan from a water yeah. filtration provider, I could synthesize the yeah. two. Or if I could, at very, very least, find actual conversion statistics that says, uh -huh. Well, let's you know, let's back up. You said I, and I can write that section of it, and they yeah. they I, help me get it approved. I I still think that the main question is, do uh -huh. you need money or not? I I believe that it would be helpful to transition me away from the workload that I have now, um, and and uh, and yeah. Give me, give me some support while I build this new business until think. there's actual income from it. Uh, because to me, it seems like all setting aside, it seems like it's a, it's a business that you would uh, develop a website, generate leads, and sell those leads. You know, and the marketing part, it seems like you know a lot about that part, which is the name of the business. You're, you're in the marketing business and lead generating business. Uh, mm -hmm. I think, I mean, what it sounds like is they're asking you to do something that is more, more for a traditional business that I don't think makes sense for you. Yeah. Unless you really I want the money. Yeah. yeah, unless you really want the money. If you really want the money, you do anything people want. And anything people say <laughs> they need to give you the money, you just do it. You don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, but if it's something like it, that's why I think the, the first question is what kind of money is it? Because if it's a loan, why bother? You know, uh, you yeah. know, there, th there's no reason in my mind uh, to do that because you probably don't need that money, much money, and if it's a loan, you have to pay it back, and no matter what happens, and you know, and, and it's a bigger liability to get it. Uh, and also, everything you want it to do to get it may be as much work as just developing the damn thing. You know, uh, so that, but I, I don't know that answer for sure but at least so i think yeah. one would be you know if it's maybe they have venture money you know for people who have bright ideas and they're looking for people to give it to and you know then that may be interesting you know that they may have what you know a lot of states have uh you know incubator programs where they, they want new businesses in and they give you seed money and things like that. So to get that, you need a business plan usually and, and things like that. Because, you know, in my mind, you, you, you just have a marketing plan, you know, and that's all you need and you already have that because uh, you know how that system works. Uh, uh, you, you have to figure out where the names are going to come from, but, you know, you know, you've been marketing on the web for a long time, and you, you know, that's a pain in the ass, but you can figure it out. Um, <laughs> and that's why, I, boy, so, so you, you'd say instead of going, instead of trying to find the trade association, get the financials right, the business plan, maybe go instead to an incubator. Yeah, something like that. Somebody, if you're looking for just a little seed money to, to get this going, I mean, kind of, I mean, if you go to a trade association, they don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> yeah. right, right, right. This is a scheme on the internet. You know, it's not industrial. That's why it sounds like a lot of old school stuff. You know, um, and not new school stuff. And that's why I see something. Uh, you know, accelerator is another key word. Ask those same people okay. if there are accelerator programs. In uh, in your state, uh, incubator and accelerator, because that may you know they may have ten, fifteen grand to help you uh, finance the beginning of this, and, and that you know that may be all you need. Yeah, well, well shoot me an email to uh, to ask. Let me give you my email here because it's going to go soon. Okay, you got it. Uh, yeah, you have any any more questions and. Great, great. Yeah, I'm, uh, so I'll look for an incubator, accelerator. Yeah, those kinds of things. Yeah. See if, you know, because, yeah, they, they would understand a little bit more clearly. They're a little yeah. bit more updated. Exactly. And you, you, you have a marketing scheme for the Internet. Yeah. <laughs> Not a okay. traditional business. Great. But it sounds okay, great. Thank you so much. I'll be in touch with uh, future development. Okay, thank you, Adam. Take care.
So you want to get an education? <laughs> well, it's probably a great default thing to do any time in your life, you know, to keep learning. And I'm sure you went, you know, if it's college you're trying to get in higher education, I'm sure you went to Google and put in like uh, scholarships or you put in grants for college. Well, here, I, I just did a few seconds ago and you get 123 million websites for scholarships. 123 million, million, okay. And 177 million for grants for college. So stay away from that now because <laughs> what you're gonna get, most of those people are, are people that want your name to sell you, sell your name to somebody, you know, and they're gonna to go to uh, people who are gonna call you on the phone and pester you forever because they're gonna say how easy it is to pay for this if you wanna do and all that kind of stuff. You don't wanna get caught up in any of that. So there's a lot of don'ts. I mean, to me, if you're looking for money for college or whatever, there's a million things you do. Actually, there's 177 million things you could do. But, you know, it's what not to do, I feel, that is more important. And the first thing is don't use Google because you're going to get tied up in people there that are going to promise you the moon, the stars, and a career for the rest of your life, and a millionaire and everything, as long as you send them money and you don't want to do that. Uh, now, the other thing you don't want to do first, this is the first thing, don't forget your state government. That's the biggest thing that people miss when they're looking for money for school. Every state has a bunch of money programs that give to people who want to go to higher education. You don't have to be 17, you can be 70 <laughs> or 170. You know, uh, they can't age discriminate. I mean, some of the, there's a few that you have to be a high school senior or something. But they have, you know, a lot of money there. And a lot of it comes from you. In my state, now we're a sophisticated state. Yeah, we're, uh, Maryland is where I live. There was $17 million that was not applied for. That's right. So if you're looking for higher education money for anything, that's the first thing you do is you go to your state government to see what they have. Now, and the other thing to do is go to the school that you're going to because you don't want to forget that. They have so many scholarships. You know, if you've already chosen a school or think about chosen a school, get to know their money first because they don't give out all they have too. Man, I have a scholarship at a local community college up here. <laughs> it's called I Don't Need My Government Money Scholarship. They don't even give it all the money. And so I, I beat on them. And they, they went to uh, dinner for me and all this kind of stuff. And I, you know, they didn't give away a fraction of the money. And my God, it does me no good. It does you no good. It does student. So that's why you have to bang on the college that you're going to. And make sure you make a special appointment with a person in charge of the money, the foundation, or whatever the heck it is at the college. So there are the things you do. You do. You don't forget your state and you don't forget the college that you're going to attend to. Because otherwise you'll be you know, pouring through those 177 million websites and you don't want to do that. The other thing to do is don't forget 211. Call 211 because 211 is your lo local clearinghouse, you know, uh, where you are. And by the way, I, I have, you know, you know, in the report, I give you the link for your state and I'm giving you the link for 211 because it, uh, online it's a different uh, 211. But when you, you could call 211 in any part of the world, uh, country here, and find nonprofits that will help. Now, if you're higher education, you're know, looking for hey, you're looking for scholarships because these are all nonprofits that give out money and help for people to get uh, training or scholarships or go to college, things like that. So see what kind of help are in the local nonprofit organizations, because that's another thing. Don't forget, don't forget your local library. Man, these reference librarians. No, see the easiest way to get college money. I think instead of going to the 77, 100, 177 million websites is what's local because that's where you have a better chance at in anything. And your local library will know scholarships uh, in the area. So if the local Kiwanis Club or, or, or you know, the local county cooperative extension service, they have scholarships. So it just takes a walk in the local reference librarian. It takes a, a, a phone call to their online service or whatever it is. They're all very helpful. So they're the don'ts now, the three don'ts I'm talking about. You know, you're, you don't forget your state, don't forget 211, and don't forget your library. Also, don't forget your local career 
uh, one stop, one stop career center. This is the Department of Labor office that is in your community. They're all over the world. I, get, I, I give you, I mean, all over the United States. Uh, I give you the link for where you live here in the report. So click on that link, make an appointment because they have money for training. Say you need just a, a few, you just need a degree, a course or two to possibly. Uh, you know, you're short of a degree by just a course or two. They have money to pay for that. People don't look that. Or you need training money. You just want to know some skill or something. You don't want a four-year degree. That's the place to get that because you're going to put $8,000 at that. And I, I'll give you the link there for where the link is in your stop. So that's the thing. So you don't want to get tied up in, in because you, you get in Google and, and it'll take you two weeks of fooling around in there. Most of the people you get there are people that uh, are, are going to sell you money, sell you something, or whatever, get money for you. What I want to show you how to do is people and organizations that give money for free. They're not selling you anything, see, and you can't find them in Google because they don't advertise. They're not spending money to make sure you see them and make sure they're on the front page and things like that because that takes resources. Google is real estate, and they're going to sell to the best uh, people who spend the most money to get there. Okay, another thing to don't don't get a loan if you don't have to, man. I mean, that's the most thing. I mean, because people are graduating from college now, 20, 30, 40, 60 thousand dollars in debt, 100 thousand dollars in debt. Man, and the average, you know, actually, I was just uh, looking at data recently. Uh, recent college graduates, you know, something like um, 45, 40 percent of them are making less than 25 thousand dollars a year less than $25,000 and they have debt and an average of $40,000 a year. So this is crazy what we're doing. And see, then you're going to have to take a job, you know, just to pay that debt and you'll be in jail. That's, that's like <laughs> debtor's prison. You know, you got to pay some bank off for their loan, you know, uh, and so you got to accept some lousy job you're going to hate and because you have to pay that debt off. So there's ways around it. It's going to take some effort, but there are options. You don't want to get caught, you know, in this trap of debt and dragging that around and make your life miserable for 10 years. People now have this stuff for 30 years. If you do get debt, remember get government back debt. Don't get the private stuff. And I have a link there that shows you the difference and why you don't want government. See, the government stuff, they have ways to get out of it, you know, and they're more lenient. Man, you get, you know, uh, Bank of America or somebody like that <laughs> yeah, alone. No, don't worry, because they love giving money to people in college, yeah, because uh, they'll come after you to die. Man, I interviewed someone, who, a young woman who had a brain tumor. She's dying, you know, within six months, and they were coming after her for <laughs> her money. It's just ridiculous, yeah. So that's why there's ways now in, in uh, if you have a federal government uh, subsidized loan that you don't have to pay if you don't make them a lot of money, they forgive some of it and all those. There's ways around that. So remember, don't get a loan, but if you have to, don't get a private one and, and look uh, how to do it. Also, another, don't go to a poor profit school. You see these schools that advertise or whatever, you know, and that's why, that's why when you go on the internet, and put in your name somewhere. It's going to go to the, one of these for-profit schools. They're going to call you. They're going to say they're your best friend, and this is so easy, and all you have to do is get a loan to come to them. And the data, there's just so much data now that shows they're not worth the money. They're, they're scamming you. 90% of their money comes from you getting government money to pay them. Very little. They spend very little on academics versus a normal college. They'll spend most of their money on academics. These people are spending it on marketing and just trying to get money out of you. It's the worst deal, particularly if you're a vet. They have uh, you know, special people that go out and get vets to get make the vets get a loan so they could get money and give it to the school. And, and the success rate is very low. There are options for that. Uh, so don't go to a for-profit school. Uh, also, uh, you know, don't forget your community college. Man, these community colleges are wonderful. They have, you know, for a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks in tuition, you could go to school, and and it's also maybe for a year or two years or even six months, you get a certificate of some kind that makes you employable. Like in the healthcare profession, you can go go to a year or two and and start a career at thirty, forty thousand dollars, you know, just like that, and not have to get a four year degree and start making twenty five thousand dollars or less, you know. So that's why get 
Two, call your local community college. And don't just call, walk down, walk down, ride, take a bus, take an Uber, whatever. Go to your community college and just walk into counselors and say, hey, you know, help me choose something, you know, that, that could, you know, increase my income because they're getting grants even to get people, you know, in certain uh, uh, professions that we need people in. So it won't cost you as much. And there's other ways to pay for it. And plus it's the cheapest deal in town. So if you, you still want a four year degree, go there for two years, you know, at least. And, and then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and then you worry about the next two years and, and getting that done. And also you want to think nowadays too, whether you want a degree. Everybody says degree or two and they show you data why you work more money and all that kind of, but things are changing, you know, and, and that's why we, we need a lot of degrees and, and now we need skills. So you really have to think hard about is it skills you want or is it a degree some jobs you need degrees see to work in large organizations that's what it is it's a training organization and they want a degree because yeah, you know, I don't know. It's just easier to choose, <laughs> but it does nothing about your skills or background. It's a silly way of, of keeping score, but that's the way it is. You want to play that game, so you may need a degree. But less and less jobs are becoming that way. There's more in the gig economy and other ways that don't require a degree that just require skills. And that's another place at your community college to talk about skills. Okay. Uh, also, don't forget. Um, uh, <laughs> don't assume all colleges are expensive. Look around. I, I give you a, a link here to 40 ways to pay for education and training that you don't know about. I mean, there's options. You know, you go around, you talk to your friends. Most people go to college because they're trying to impress their friends. I went to this big name school, you know, or trying to impress their parents or whatever. And you see data, you know, that uh, 30 years after you graduate, it makes no difference at all what college you went to <laughs> on your success level in life. And, and it's just, it's keeping up with the Joneses stuff that we've got into, and it's a terrible game, and I think we're going to change it soon. Uh, uh, and that's important. And there are colleges free. Look in that 40 uh, list of 40 educational and training programs there. There's a wonderful university. It's called University of the People. It's free and it's nonprofit. It's accredited. You can go to Berkeley and be transferred there if you want or whatever. It's a very high power school, but it's free. See, somebody's figured this out. You don't have to pay 40 grand a year. And there you could get a health science degree, you get a business degree or computer degree. And even an MBA. And I spoke to this. With, I'll show you a video of the guy who started the school. They're on the board of directors. There's very credentialed people and everything. And also University of Arizona. I mean, they have an online course too. I think it's like 10 grand a year. That's it. You know, and that's a big name school. This is a, the guy who runs that university now he used to be, I think, uh, the head of the university in one of the big Ivy League schools. Now he's going there trying to make things affordable. We put this thing out of price for people and also ways to look at Starbucks will pay ten thousand dollars a year you know for you to go if you're, while you're making coffee so uh, there's ways to pay for education that, that is you know just not as obvious you know and so don't be going with everybody else does you know uh, and you assume college expen is expensive it doesn't have to be actually I give you another list or two here that even if you want to go overseas if you want to get a 40 year degree man go to Paris <laughs> go to Germany you know uh, you know the EU and uh, uh, what's going on in Europe now and in England and everything well the in England I mean the European company all those companies are like they have 20 languages or something they're all trying to teach all their courses in English so you as an American speaking English could go to Paris and go to the Sorbonne all in English and they'll charge you a thousand dollars a year that's even not even being a French citizen not not even being in the UK, sir. Germany's like that. You know, Denmark, they're all they just a fraction of what we pay here. It's crazy, you know, what we're doing in this country. You know, people um, you know get trapped into this college stuff in the United States and, and they can't get a good job and they have a whole bunch of debt and it's 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 silly. You know? uh, so that's another thing. And also don't forget while you're while you're in college, don't forget about the shared economy. Now it's easier to make money. You don't have to um, 
make money by delivering pizza for some guy. You can make so much more money uh, being Uber or getting rid of the extra clothes in your closet and things. And I give you 46 ways to make extra money on the internet with no boss, no experience, no cash, no nothing. You know, uh, it's just wonderful what's going on, you know, in our country of easier ways to make money. You want to be a dog walker? Well, there, there's a website, you know, millions of people are coming every day looking for dog walkers. So if you're on that website, it costs you nothing. Yeah. And they, they take care of the accounting. They take care of um, the insurance, all this kind of stuff. So it's not like, you know, having to be a full fledged business yourself. No, but you get customers like that. And you work only when you want to. You know, that's what's so neat. It's like working with no boss. You know, another thing I put in here too is the 25 best government grants, you know, and services for your state. So if you have trouble with paying bills, you have trouble, you know, making a mortgage or a rent payment or anything, who you could turn to, to, uh, to help pay that, you know, utility bills or missing money that you didn't know you, you had all these services. They're all listed for your state right there uh, and you can download that book uh, right there and that's the way to do all this way to just start remember that it's not easy just on Google scholarships and think that's it go to these places first check them out you know go to your state go to 211 go to the library you know uh, locally we give you all the links right there in the report for you to check on check on them first to see your options in life life is all about options if you don't know your option you're going to take the the only thing that you think is best right there so if some guy calls you on the phone and says don't worry you don't have to pay the back you know for 10 years and you don't know your options you're going to say yes because you you want that degree and what I'm trying to do is show you options so you have other ways you can get a degree online for free by one of the most reputable universities in the world you know but you won't know about them but you're not going to know about the guy who's going to charge you 30 grand because he's getting a hell of a lot of commission if he signs you up Okay, so I understand you're looking for money <laughs> for housing in Arkansas. Well, this video is part of a report, you know, that it gives you all the sources for that. And really, the main part of this report will have, you know, a step-by-step -step procedure of where to find all the programs. You can see anywhere in this country, there's over like 150 housing programs, depending on what kind of house you want to buy, or part you want to rent, or you want to invest, or fix up, or all this kind of stuff. So that and it's not in one place. See, it's in the federal level, state level, nonprofit organizations, county, and develop, uh, economic development association. It's all over. So the report here has all that step-by-step -step process in it. But what I'm also going to show you right up front is give you all the contacts for the best places to start. Okay, so here's what to do. Here's what I would do if I was sitting in your shoes in uh, you know, Arkansas and, and need help with housing. Okay, here, yeah, and you'll see this in the list, uh, is the HUD house, Housing Counselor. These are free. These are people who get grants from the federal government to help you with any kind of housing problem and also with any kind of credit problem you have. You know, so they're, you know, because they're afraid that you can't, you can't pay rent or mortgage, you may lose your home. So they help you with that too. But more importantly, they know the basic programs, uh, of getting housing, you know, that's over there. So here I gave you a link there uh, of all the offices in your state. Find one that's close to you. If the people you call, the first one, say you want to make an appointment, they're not going to charge you. If they charge you some money, then you got the wrong office. You know, go to the next one. Because you could try others, even that are a little further away away from your house or try anybody I mean it's a numbers game like everything it's like dating you know the first woman says no you go to the next one you know <laughs> and things like that so look at that list find people offices close to you call up and make an appointment say you have you know you want to buy a house you want to fix up a house you have trouble with your mortgage or rent or whatever and, and see how they could help you okay now the next thing you want to do is go to your state capital now I have a link there and I show you uh, copies of, of the programs they have in the state of Arkansas. And your state capital has an office called the Arkansas Development Finance Authority. Okay, now they're in charge of helping people get homes, fix up their homes, you know, rent apartments and all that. So that's why they, they have programs here. You see, like, they have something called the, the Advantage Loan Program. Okay, this is a homeownership program. Um, you know, it's for affordable 
you know, first time home buyers or veterans living in Arkansas. Okay, now here's another program for non first time home buyers, you know, and, and that's just for them. Here's another program, you know, moving up, you know, you want to get a bigger house. And the, see, these are all subsidized programs, you know. So if you're going to a bank or any of these other people, you know, they're just going to get top dollar. So the government subsidized. So this is better money, cheaper money. And see, like in this program, 4% of the purchase price is given to you as a grant. Man, 4%. So, <laughs> you know, so $100, you're getting $4 grant, you know, $100,000, you're getting, what is that, $40,000, no, $4,000 grant, you get. Yeah, uh, so you're getting a $4,000 grant, you know, and a $100,000 home. So that's it. Now, here's other programs they have for down payment money. So this is uh, grants up to, to $6,000 to pay for closing costs and grant payment money. Uh, and then they have a second mortgage program, you know, that saves you cheap money and things like that. Then there's the Arkansas Dream Down Payment Initiative. See, well, who would have known? I mean, would you think of known? oh, I'm going to Google for the uh, Dream Initiative. You know, you can't. You never find this stuff at Google. Okay, now here's the other thing. See, nonprofit organizations are the other group that gets a lot of government money, state money, federal money, whatever, then in turn gives it to individuals. So you can't find the government office that gives the money. You have to look for the nonprofit organization. And here, Arkansas211.org. You could call them. You could just call 211. But if you go to Arkansas 211, and I have the link in the programs all there, um, you know, in the report, you'll see under housing, they have all kinds of, like there's 13 nonprofit organizations that help with paying housing expenses, okay? 13 nonprofit organizations that are getting money to help you pay for your housing expenses. So you have to go through that. I mean, it's not magic. You're not gonna find the first one on the first call. You have to call a few or whatever and see what's going on and how they can help you. It's a, it's a treasure hunt. That's what all this is. I can't tell you, the only way I can tell you is I call on every one of these things myself. But I don't know, and I don't know your circumstances. I wouldn't get as much out of it because you calling, you're going to know more about your circumstance, be able to identify opportunities that I would never know. It's sort of like if someone else is fighting your war, they don't fight as hard as, as if it's your life you know, you're fighting for. So that's it. Now here, in that same uh, 211, there's nine organizations that have money and help to fix up homes, you know, that's all. Then there's 48 organizations under housing for options, you know, housing options, you know, that, that you need, you know, residential housing options. You don't know what to do with your house or where to live and things like that. So there's 48 uh, nonprofits that help you. That means they're gonna help you for free. That's the other thing. You do Google, you do Yellow Pages. There are people who want money from you. None of these people are going to ask you for money. Now, here's another program, too, IDA. They're called Individual Development Accounts. And these are good for housing because this is a place where if you save a dollar, they'll put up to $8 in addition. So you put a dollar to save for a housing down payment or something, they put eight. So now you have $9 for every $1 you put in. And there's three organizations in um, uh, Arkansas that do this. And I have the data here and how to find more in other states if you want to find them. And the ones that are there are in the report that you get with this video. Okay. So now the other thing I would look at and consider, you don't want to do this first, but put it in the back of your mind. You want everything I told you up to this point, you want to, I would think, that they're the first things you want to do. Okay. Now this is something you should think about after you do other research. And this is uh, crowdfunding. People are using crowdfunding for everything. You know, starting a business, starting a nonprofit, helping the community, you know, helping individuals with medical bills and things like this. So here's, I'm showing you some of the, some of the crowdfunding sites, and there's about a thousand of them that help with housing problems like you caring and I show you some of the organizations you know people have raised money with you caring that look at this guy got four thousand dollars to help him buy a house you know in Oakland California here's another one they're they're raising money uh, 
but it, they're only up to eighteen thousand, eighteen hundred dollars. But they need more, and they're, so they're still at it. You know, another one in Oakland, California, Newport, Rhode Island. See, these are real people. You know, doing it. here GoFundMe. Dot com uh, is another place. Or, you know, look at Save Dad's House, seven thousand dollars. He raised crowdfunding money is very easy to apply and do. You no need no credit check. <laughs> you need no financial statements. You need no expertise. You need nothing. You just put it on, and then you have to find people and 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 sort of work at it to try to get people to know about your campaign to help you, and that's what it's all about. Here's another one, uh, a website called generosity.com, uh, and I show you some programs there. Look at, uh, look at uh, $1,600, you know. Uh, here's another one, like $700 to help them buy a home, you know. So that's why you could use it for that. So let's go find me here. Indiegogo, here, bring Ralph home. You know, he, he's got $21,000, you know, he was losing his home. And he went with crowdfunding and, and got $21,000. Actually, the White House was trying to get homes for the refugees, you know, in Syria, and they couldn't get it from Congress. So they went on crowdfunding and raised like a couple million dollars <laughs> to get money on that. So it's something to think about if you're not, um, familiar with crowdfunding yet or whatever it's a way to get involved and start thinking about it so of all the services then see if none of those work then I show you the rest of the report is how to find more where to go step by step on the internet to find more potential possibilities because see, you're always in the game as long as you have a source when you're out of sources man you're out of the game like you, you want to get up to bat and if you don't have a chance to get up to bat then you don't have a chance to hit the ball right so I'm giving you all the potential places you could go to get up the bat to hit the ball and then eventually you, you figure out how to hit it out of the ballpark <laughs>